Hello and welcome to the Sub1 YouTube channel. My name is Ray and in this video, Spot Micro Part 29, while trying to debug the program, I discovered that the back left leg and to a lesser degree the back right leg, the foot was actually forward of where it should have been and this was causing it to overbalance backwards from time to time. On closer inspection of the robot, because it's on the underside, I discovered this significant crack through and this was allowing the bottom of the foot to move back and forward as this opened and closed and that was causing the foot to be in a different position than what was expected. It had two effects, uh, one of which was causing the robot to fall over backwards and the other one was to add excessive load to the servos because the foot wouldn't be where it was expecting to be. So I have uh, three options at this point. Uh, option one is to weld it in place and try and resolve it by welding that joint up, which I'm going to do today. Option two is to print it out again in PLA. Uh, it'll take a few hours to print, but I can do that. It'll take me longer to replace it. Um, option three is to print in a different material. Both option two and three require some disassembly and it's something that I'm not going to be able to avoid if I want to replace the part. And I think I will replace it. Um, I found that I can probably print this in resin using the AnyCubic Tough Flexible Resin. Give it a try and see how that works. This is what the Tough flex uh, Flexible Resin looks like. It is reasonably tough. So I've printed out all these parts so far. And I may end up printing the whole robot that way. Replace most of the major components. The only problem with the resin printer is some of the larger parts are difficult to print, uh, like the top and bottom covers on a counter, they're just too big for the printer. So for now, let's uh, weld up this one. Um, I did find most of my problems uh, with the program, or I believe I found most of the problems. Uh, most of them were associated with multiple calls into the uh, kinematic mathematical routines. So there are two major kinematic routines within the robot program, the forward kinematic and the inverse kinematic. And the issue is the inverse kinematic, sorry, the forward kinematic was being called on a very regular basis as was uh, the inertial convert measurement conversion. So we're converting it to where the foot would be X, Y, Z relative to the center of gravity. So I've now reduced the number of calls to that from a servo sink. Well, it only runs that routine on a servo sink or a movement of a servo. Uh, and we'll use the pre-calculated values from those conditions uh, to calculate for the inertial side, which reduces the amount of mass considerably. I actually found in some cases it was performing that same bit of mass two and three times for a single leg move. So let's get on to repairing this. I will have to uh, recalibrate this when I'm finished. Now for this, well, I don't know if you can see this very well, I am going to do a deep penetration in as I weld this because I want it welded all the way through if I can.
I've got a little bit more on the top there. That'll give it a lot more strength. Now while I was going through inspecting after I found that one, or well, that break, I had a closer look and I don't know if you can see it in the image. There's a small crack starting to form just here and that'll eventually break all the way through. So I was a little bit disappointed to find those, but this stuff happens so you just have to deal with it. looks like it's going to break through up here Let's have a look at another leg. And you can see a definite crack in through here as well. Much clearer coming out of the pen. Let's have a look at this one. I don't actually see any cracks on that one. That's good. So I only had one broken through and two cracked. So the next thing I'll have to do is go back through the process of recalibration and make sure it's all correct and see if that improves on the program. If it does, I'll be able to demonstrate the uh, balance routine. So now that the balance routine is working, I'm going through document, increasing the level of documentation in the class so that anyone wanting to learn from it can actually see how the program works. Well, that'll do for this video if you like these videos don't forget to click on like subscribe ring that notification bell it's a form of support that helps the channel a great deal and costs you absolutely nothing if you'd like to support the channel further i do have a patreon account and you can join my vip patron go lucky and my two builder patrons elm rails 45 and White Wolf in helping to support the channel. My patrons get these videos at least a week earlier than YouTube does. I also have a Discord server so if you've got any question feel free to either leave a comment in, down below or drop into the Discord server and ask some questions there. If you ask the questions in there other people that might have the same questions will also see the answers as well. Or you might see the answers in there asked by someone else. And we'll see you in the next video.